What is going on YouTube? Hidden back making another brand new crypto TV episode. In today's video, we're going to be looking at Bitcoin, XRP, Ethereum, as well as Litecoin. We're also going to be looking at an article posted by, I believe this is News BTC. They came out with an article saying Bitcoin price yearly candle shows failed rally longest wick on record so some interesting uh news that we have to discuss there i did yesterday mention that i put in a short position and i want to continue in today's video discussing how exactly that's going whether or not you guys should take advantage of this market right now sell short buy long leverage all the all everything all the whole nines um besides that we will be looking like i said at the technical analysis seeing that some of these cryptocurrencies seemingly are hitting resistance and starting to correct lower but otherwise if you guys are new to the channel definitely make sure to subscribe turn on post notifications leave a giant thumbs up and let's jump into today's video so guys um you can see i'm on my current channel right here and a couple of interesting things you can see the past couple of videos we've been pretty much talking about the fact that there is some sort of correction needed in the market and then followed by a dip or a swing to the upside you can see even on this bearish fractal uh, two days ago, we had the correction to the downside, followed by an immediate swing to the upside. So we're merely waiting for this small correction now, and then to follow a major swing to the upside, which could ultimately be consolidation first, and then movements higher. So yesterday, I came out with a video. Um, seems like you guys obviously don't like bearish videos, but I feel like just to be um, neutral with the market and to be transparent, I do have to talk about the possibilities of crypto dropping, you know? So I made a video yesterday in regards to, you can see shorting and why I'm shorting, where the price should potentially be going to, as well as how the price should be moving down there. So I made that video yesterday. Hopefully you guys check that out. We're gonna continue off of that video, discussing when to buy, sell, things like that. First, I wanna discuss this article posted by NewsBTC. Basically, they talk about how today's midweek daily close in Bitcoin's chart carries significantly more weight than usual. Um, as you guys know, today is New Year's Eve, so this is the last day of 2019 that you will you know be trading bitcoin which you know if you think about it it's a whole nother year and it's absolutely wild to see that you know a whole nother year has passed on this channel which is it's crazy it's really going by really 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 fast and you know we've grown it from so 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 low to so 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 high in just a matter of you know months which is absolutely unbelievable from you know a couple hundred subscribers to now over a couple thousand it's it's mind-blowing and who knows where we'll be at the end of 2020 but otherwise um it says if the leading crypto asset by market cap closes today at the current price around 72.50 the yearly candle will close with the largest wick on record, clearly showing the failed parabolic rally that occurred around mid-year 2019. So you can see as I scroll down, this is kind of what they're talking about. The yearly candle closing pretty soon, and this is how we're currently sitting. Not the prettiest thing, that's for sure. If you had to guess which color would you you know would the next yearly candle be so you can see this was 2017 i believe this is 2018 and then this is 2019 and you can see the way these are moving we did have a massive wick upwards and we currently closed all the way down at about right here but i do believe we will start to see some higher movements in next year as we've discussed previously but you can see the candle while itself green does show a failed rally in the form of a massive wick that stopped at prior yearly resistance the wick is also the largest ever recorded in bitcoin which you could see that's huge it's absolutely wild you can see they do have one with color right here pretty awesome but you know the way that goes into the technical analysis for now is they're basically tracking this and basing this off of previous history and then obviously comparing it to now so you could see the massive 2017 2018 bull run which ended in a correction lower we then had that massive drop to bottom support and now we came up with the 2019 bull run we came back down and now we're getting very 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 close to what could appear to be the next correction lower so now to just quickly jump into my short position ones that hopefully you guys have been following. Um, for those of you that don't know, uh, definitely check out my Patreon. It's the first or second link in the description. This is basically a way for you guys to get content and news, my buying and selling as well as talk to me personally, uh, much quicker than you would on YouTube. Basically, I post content on uh, 
Patreon before I post it on YouTube so that those people can get the advantage in regards to what's going to happen when my buying and selling is. But in regards to Dudex, which is also linked in the description, we opened up another position. We opened up a position yesterday. Um, a couple of interesting comments were left. Uh, obviously, they were saying not a good market to short, expect to uh, swing to the upside, expect to long. Um, but you know, a lot of articles are coming out extremely bearish right now. So honestly, with that knowledge, and in the fact of my own technical analysis, I feel comfortable shorting. Now, it was just yesterday. We have about a 7% increase, which is really no money to be you know, made at all. It's a very small amount, but I did leverage trade it. Now, I did have a comment saying that I was not trading to my maximum potential. When I leveraged it by 10 times, I could actually enter a higher quantity. Because I was leveraging $100, I could have actually leveraged a five thousand dollars instead of five hundred so maybe i did that wrong um obviously if you guys have any more information on that leave it down below but regardless i did put a five hundred dollar position in and that does open up you know some potential money to be made so definitely consider that you know we are starting to correct lower and i do believe we're going to fall even lower than that so if you want to take advantage of this if you're interested in shorting the bitcoin market right now definitely make sure to go in the description down below click on the first link sign up you do get a bonus which i have linked down below as well which is awesome like up to like 60 or 70 dollars and then you can do whatever with that you don't have to trade you can obviously withdraw it i've done it in the united states i've withdrawn money i've sent money in works totally fine and i do really like the website being able to leverage and short the market right now so with that knowledge being said you can see a couple of things more so on the altcoins and i did have a couple of my um, patreon supporters comment this but basically in regards to the fact that when we can't exactly um, track and record bitcoin we can use other cryptocurrencies one very similar in the current coin market cap to basically judge where bitcoin's going to go usually within the top 10 we can use ethereum xrp like coin, EOS, Binance coin to basically ga uh, gauge where Bitcoin's going. We use all those and then we figure it out. You can see the ones that are most obvious is when we use the price graph to compare. So Bitcoin to XRP to Litecoin with Ethereum, they're all fairly similar. Obviously, markets are kind of down right now, about 1%, maybe 2% at max. But you can see more so with Ethereum what exactly is happening. So just a couple of days ago, if not yesterday, uh, 29th, so two days ago, we actually hit uh, two things, our yellow resistance as well as the downtrend. And you can see the second we hit that, we corrected lower and actually broke once again below the high-low MMA trading on Ethereum's four hour, which ultimately looks like we're going to see some sort of bearish cross right now on the MACD, which you can see actually just happened. And it's another signal for us to head lower. So ultimately, I am anticipating a lower correction. Maybe it's going to take a couple days. Maybe it'll take three days, but ultimately a dip of about 16% as we kind of consolidate lower. And this is based off of knowledge of every time we pretty much retest this top support or this top resistance, we don't break through it and we correct lower. We fall quite vigorously to the downside. And you can see it's happened over and over and over again. Now, the same thing goes with Litecoin, and then we'll jump into Bitcoin and XRP. But you can see Litecoin is once again doing that same thing. You can see on Litecoin how every single time we hit this top resistance, we break bearish and we correct lower, and it's happening once again. You can see just right now we started to fairly hit. I mean, we could just ever so slightly drag this down if you want to consider that to be the cap. Still works very nicely with the way the coin is um is graphed but you can see right here we did seem to hit that we hit a resistance this is a clear resistance on the yellow uh daily charts for coinbase litecoin and you can see it's currently starting to correct lower ultimately the way the markets are looking is it there is potential for it to fall all the way back down and retest positions as low as 31. now how does this combine into with bitcoin now this is a short that i'm doing for a very quick amount of time um i've been kind of on the edge about whether or not i want to lower this chart just ever so slightly like this you can see how well this still works very easily right here and honestly i could leave this here just like that you can see right now where it's acting as resistance here then as a support and now a resistance there so ultimately if i do leave this like this and i don't change this and we'll see tomorrow we're pretty much now getting sandwiched in between the top resistance and this bottom uptrend that's been withheld um since 2019 the beginning january february of bitcoin and you can see this continued support seems to allow the coin to float above here now if we cannot break this resistance there's a very high chance we're going to 
correct downwards at about a 30% drop. Now, ultimately, this 30% drop, we can short now on Dudex and we can make quite a bit of money on here, obviously with leverage trading and whatnot. But with this correction, we should anticipate a movement down here. This would ultimately send us down about a couple months. So if we do see the dip and we do see the drop, it should be followed by some sort of consolidation. And then inevitably we should see the coin kind of float upwards as we head into 2020 into um, the having of Bitcoin. And that's pretty much what I've been focused on right now. For the most part, guys, we know that every single time the having is coming, great news comes out. A lot of people buy the rumor and the coin should immediately start to correct higher as we enter 2020. And then come you know January, February, March, April, we'll see the coin shoot higher and higher, 10,000, 11,000, 12,000. And then as we hit the having, we should see an immediate correction as people sell the news. But otherwise, guys, that's gonna wrap up today's video. Um, that's what I wanted to show you guys, my position right here. It's doing quite well. I mean, I just put it in and at least we're in green. So it is going to be a great, uh, great return on investment. But otherwise, guys, if you're new to the channel, definitely make sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications, leave a giant thumbs up, and I'll see you in tomorrow's episode. Peace and happy New Year's Eve.